Welcome to the home of Jarl Udelrek, of the Honorable Clan Brockfar. Greetings. Wanted to see the Jarl. Enter. Jarl's still speaking to his seer, but they should finish soon. One thing. Watch where you step. How come? Jarl's not too fond of light. Makes it easy to trip. That car turned. Jarl wonder if it's as strong as he looks. We'll be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yarl. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I'm looking for Ceres. Any idea where she might be? I hope she's gone to the village. It's been a time since she visited. She wished to speak to our folk, but... But? I worry she might have gone to Jarl Udelric's old family home, though I tried to dissuade her. Clan Brockvar have something to hide from the Oncrate? No, it's not that. The house is a strange place. Many believe it haunted. Great. I love haunted houses. But why would Ceres go there? Before she left, she had a long talk with the Jarl. Seems she wanted to help him. With what? Forgive me. I must go to him. A promising start. <laughs> Remember when that storm caught us in old day? I like it were yesterday. Got a sea beast to help. They summon the witcher. Fresh footprints. The heavy Saris is something seriously wrong here. about.
Saris. Passed out. Gotta get her out of here. What... what happened? Where am I? Oh, my head! Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! For a sword? Mean this one? You have it? Then what are we waiting for? We've got to see Ulrich. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Udelric. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udelric's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelric. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelric. But his father gave Brockfart to his little brother, Aki. Huh. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelric to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udelric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udelric kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udelric right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brockvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Besides, now we've got the sword. We'll soon see if that's what it's about. Hmm. No harm in trying, I suppose. Let's go see Udelric. Be interesting to see if there actually is a ghost in all this. You and my da. You were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But... Well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. But you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. <laughs> Where 
Where's Yennefer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. It stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. It's not the gods. Watch your words, foreigner. You're in Skalliger, our land. And we revere the gods here. If you weren't on Kreit's guest... Jarl, the Witcher surely meant no offense. Let us hear what he has to say. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods, they'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you, and they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Damn, these comments struck me, then we gotta drag their cover. Come on, Roach. 